In this video, we'll show you how to record supplier payments in Sage50 accounts and approve them in the modular portal. To pay your suppliers by supplier payments, process the payment in Sage50 accounts as either a supplier payment or a batch supplier payment. Paying a single supplier. To record a payment for a single supplier, from the navigation bar, select either suppliers or bank accounts, then select supplier payment. In the bank details section, click the drop down and select your supplier payments bank account from the list. For example, bank account 1201, supplier payments E account. In the supplier details section, Click the drop down and select your supplier account. In the payment details section, enter the payment date and any references if required. Click the payment column for the first invoice to pay, then from the toolbar, select pay in full. Repeat this process to pay other invoices if required. Once you've completed the payment, click save. A prompt appears confirming the payment has been submitted to supplier payments for authorization. Click OK to this message, then repeat the process to pay any other suppliers. Once you've completed your supplier payments, click Close. Paying multiple suppliers. To record payments for several suppliers at once, from the navigation bar, Select Bank Accounts, then select Batch Supplier Payment. In the Bank Details section, click the drop down and select your Supplier Payments bank account from the list. For example, Bank Account 1201, Supplier Payments E account. In the Payment Details section, enter the payment date and any references if required. To limit the transaction shown to a certain date range, click the drop down, select date range, then add dates to the from and to fields. To update the list of transactions, press the tab key on the keyboard. Click the payment column for the first invoice to pay and select pay in full. Repeat this process to pay other invoices for different suppliers. Once you've completed the payments, click Save. You'll be prompted to confirm the number of payments to be submitted for authorization. If the details are correct, click OK. If not, to return to the Batch Supplier Payments screen, click Cancel. Once you've confirmed the payment submission, a second prompt appears confirming the payments have been successfully submitted to Supplier Payments. To return to the bank accounts list, click OK. You can view supplier payments awaiting approval in Sage50 accounts. From the navigation bar, click Supplier Payments. Log in with your Sage account login details if requested. In the Payments section, this box confirms there are payments requiring authorization. To view these payments, Click the arrow to the right. To close the window, click Close. You're now ready to authorise these payments in the modular portal. Authorising supplier payments. To authorise supplier payments in modular, log in to your modular account with your Sage account details. Payments awaiting authorisation will be shown in the approvals section. To approve these payments, from the navigation bar, select Approvals. All pending payments are listed here. To approve a single payment, select the radio button to the right of the payment and click Approve. To confirm this, click Approve again. You'll be prompted to approve the payment in Authy. To do this, open the Authy app and follow the on-screen instructions. To approve all payments at once, 
select the radio button at the right of the column headings and click Approve. To confirm this, click Approve again. You'll be prompted to approve the payments in Authy. To do this, open the Authy app and follow the on-screen instructions. Once authorised in Authy, any supplier payments, dated today or earlier, will be sent immediately. Any future dated supplier payments will be sent from Modular on the payment date. You've now learned how to record supplier payments in Sage50 accounts and approve them in the Modular portal.